Are you also wondering about what exactly blockchain is and how it works? Well, if yes, then you have just landed on the right video. You may have disregarded the phrase blockchain as a whim, a cliche, or even technical jargon when you first heard it. What is blockchain technology exactly? What is the significance of it? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Metaverse Economy Channel. Today, I am going to take you through all you need to know about blockchain. Imagine a future where you can send money to someone who doesn't have access to a bank in seconds rather than days and you don't have to pay expensive bank fees. Alternatively, you might keep your money in an online wallet that isn't linked to a bank, allowing you to act as your own bank and have complete control over your funds. This is not a future world. It is a world in which a small but growing group of early adopters are living right now. These are just a few of the key blockchain technology applications that are revolutionizing the way we trust and exchange money. Yet for many people, blockchain technology remains a perplexing or even frightening concept. Some people are even skeptical that we will ever employ this technology. Blockchain technology isn't a passing trend. It's here to stay and you're ahead of the curve if you're watching this video. Excited to know more about it? Then make sure to sit back and stick with me till the end of the video so that you don't lost important information. Now, let's dive straight into the video. What is blockchain? Blockchain is a peer-to-peer -peer database system that allows people to trade with one another without the need for centralized power. The peer-to-peer -peer network has no central authority. Each user has a copy of the ledger, which makes it decentralized. The record can be a complete copy or just the minimum copy required to keep the network connected and operating. Consensus mechanisms such as proof of work, proof of stake, and others are used to ensure transactional consensus. Furthermore, strong cryptographic methods ensure that each transaction is totally safe. In a nutshell, it's a peer-to-peer -peer network capable of conducting transactions without the need for centralized authority. This basic concept is revolutionizing the way industries operate. This is how the blockchain keeps track of transactions. The different types of blockchains. Blockchains can be divided into four categories. 1. Public blockchains. Anyone who wants to request or validate a transaction can use public blockchains, which are open, decentralized networks of computers. Those who verify transactions get rewarded. In public blockchains, proof-of-work or proof-of-stake consensus techniques are used. Two well-known public blockchains are Bitcoin and Ethereum. 2. Private blockchains. Private blockchains aren't accessible and access is restricted. The system administrator must give permission to everybody who wants to join. Typically, they are centralized and maintained by a single company. 3. Hybrid blockchains or consortiums. Consortiums are a centralized and decentralized combination of public and private blockchains. R3, Dragon Chain, and the Energy Web Foundation are just a few examples. 4. Sidechains. A sidechain is a blockchain that follows the same path as the main chain but in the opposite direction. By allowing users to move digital assets between two different blockchains, it improves scalability and quality. A sidechain is exemplified by the Liquid Network. How do blockchain transactions work? Blockchain has been dubbed the Internet of Value by some, which I believe is a fair comparison. Anyone can publish information on the internet, and others can access it from anywhere in the world. Anyone can send value anywhere in the world where the blockchain file can be accessed via a blockchain. To edit only the blocks you own, you'll need a private, cryptographically generated key. You can transfer the value of whatever is stored in that portion of the blockchain using your private key and someone else's public key. To use Bitcoin as an example, keys are used to transfer blocks, which contain currency units with monetary value. This takes over the duty of recording the transfer, which was formerly performed by banks. Also, if you want to learn about how blockchain works in a step-by-step -step manner, then here you go. Step 1. A transaction is requested by someone. Cryptocurrency, contracts, records, or other information could be involved in the transaction. Step 2. With the help of nodes, the desired transaction is broadcast to a P2P network. Step 3. Using well-known techniques, the network of nodes confirms the transaction and the user's status. Step 4. After the transaction is completed, a new block is added to the blockchain, in a way that is both permanent and unchangeable. All of these procedures can provide you with the highest level of network security. What is the purpose of blockchain? Here are some of the reasons why blockchain technology has gained so much traction. Time savings. In the financial industry, blockchain can play a critical role by allowing for faster trade settlement because it eliminates the need for a lengthy process of verification, settlement, and clearance because all stockholders have access to a single version of agreed-upon data from the shared ledger. Resilience Blockchain architecture is frequently copied. In the event of a significant attack on the system, most nodes continue to operate the chain. Unalterable transactions 
Blockchain verifies the inalterability of all activities by registering transactions in chronological sequence, which means that once a new block is added to the chain of ledgers, it cannot be withdrawn or modified. Fraud protection. The notions of shared information and consensus help to prevent losses due to embezzlement or fraud. In logistics-based businesses, blockchain as a monitoring system decreases costs. Dependable. Blockchain verifies and verifies the identification of those who are interested. This reduces rates and speeds of transactions by removing duplicate records. Indeed, blockchain is a very unique technology and no doubt more businesses will begin to incorporate blockchain into their operations pretty soon. So, it's reasonable to assume that if you're a complete beginner, you'll need to grasp a number of elements before even considering joining this technology. You could also join a free blockchain course to get to know more about it. Well, which aspect of blockchain technology did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments. This brings us to the conclusion of our blockchain for beginners guide. With that being said, it's time for us to say goodbye, but don't be sad as we will be back with another amazing video soon. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell icon button for more videos on the metaverse. Thanks for watching.